Today we're going to look at a great resource called classkick.com. Classkick.com is a great place for you to ask your students questions or to give them space to work. On your teacher dashboard, you're going to see what each of your students are doing in real time. You can click in to view their work in that pane. They can also click to raise their hand or have you check their work. On your dashboard, you are going to see who has their hand raised or who needs their work checked. It's really quick for you to give them feedback and to see all your students work in one place. So let's do a quick tutorial on how to jump in and get started with classkick.com. What's great about Classkick is that they do have the Google login, so very simple to get started. Once I'm signing in as a teacher, I'm gonna click the login with Google button, and now I'm inside of my classes. I'm gonna make a new roster here by clicking my plus button. So I would make a roster for each of my hours or uh, each of my subjects. So let's say this is our English three, fifth hour. I can change the roster color just to make it a little easier to find it. And now I'm gonna add an assignment to that roster. So I can pick an assignment that I've already made. So if I need to assign it to multiple hours, or I can go in and create a new blank assignment, which I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna give my assignment a name. And I'm also gonna decide how many questions I want to ask my students. I can always change this at a later time if I'd like as well. Now I'm gonna click finish, and it's going to take me into my dashboard for this class. So you're gonna see I have the code to give my students, but before I have students uh, enter this area to work, I am going to make my questions. So I can go to my three stack dots and go to edit assignment, or I can just click into the question to edit it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click to edit question one. You're gonna see that I have a blank workspace here. And across the top, I have my tools. So I can write if I want to use pen mode or erase. I can also put in a text box. So if I want to type a question here. What's great is anything that I put on the screen will not move for students. So students can't come in here and change the question. They can only add on top or sort of text box to answer the question. I can also pull in links, so if I want to link to something, if I want to pull an image, I can. Again, what's great is that image will stay in the background so students can draw on top of it or they can put text boxes on top of it. I can also add in an audio recording if I'd like to do that. Once I have my question set up, I can change the point value so I can decide how many points I want to make each question worth. Then I can go ahead and go to my next question and I can set that up as well. Once I have my questions set up, I'm now ready to get my students into my course. So now that I have my questions set up, let's take a look at the student view to see how students are gonna interact with my questions. Now we're back at the dashboard. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this would look like from student view. So as a teacher, I'm opening up my assignment here. I have my class code that students are going to insert. When I click that, notice it allows me to post right to classroom if I want, to copy the link to send to students, or just to display the code. So from the student pane, students are gonna to go to classkick.com, they're gonna click log in, they're gonna click student. They do have the option if they wanna log in with Google so that it pulls their information, they can do that, or they can simply put in their name and their class code to jump in and get started right away. Now that I'm in the student view, you can see that the student can view the questions that you have set up for them, so they can click into the pane, once they're in here, again, they can't manipulate or change any of the questions that you've asked or the images that, you're in, that you've inserted, but notice they have the same tools that you do. So they can create a text box to answer your question. They can also insert their own images, record their own audio. Uh, they can put in links. Notice I have a link in their question for them to click to look up some quotes and then to respond here. Students also have the ability to draw, which is nice. So if you wanted them to label or circle, they can. Um, notice here I have an image in the background. Again, they can't move it, but they can take text boxes and they can write on top of those images. If a student has a question, they can click to raise their hand or they can have you as a teacher check their work. So they're gonna click the raise hand button. They can click for help or they can click for check. Here I'm clicking to put the hand up. On the teacher's view now, I can see that students have their hand raised. These two students both have their hand raised here. I can also click to view just the ones that have their hand raised or that are ready to have their work checked. So then I can jump in as the teacher and go ahead and provide feedback right on top of the student's work. 
I can also grade the student's work from here, so I can give them points based on how many points I made the question out of. Again, Class Kick is an easy way for you to see your students' work in real time and to manage their feedback and questions quickly and effectively.